the Fujifilm X-T30 and today I'm mm. looking at the capabilities of this thing for vlogging. So Fujifilm uses the X-mount system to easily swap out lenses. This is a mirrorless camera so you can use any lens that you want. So I got this Fujifilm XF 35mm f2 to try it out. So let's put this on. Click that on here. And then make sure it clicks into place. And now you have a very cool lens. So this is me talking into the Panasonic Lumix G7. And now let's set up this uh, Fujifilm. So there's a little difference here. I have a little bit more color. It seems you can also change these settings, of course, but I, I really like this uh, setting right here. And I also have a little bit more uh, focus also on the background, just a little bit more than with the uh, Lumix lens, which is a 1.7 aperture and 25 millimeter lens. That's tracking my face pretty well. And I really like the fact that you can exchange these lenses. Now it's got a few cool additional features here. Images can be directly transferred in your footage can be directly transferred to your phone. So you can easily take them off without the need of well, swapping out your SD card here. And you can also use your phone as a remote shutter. Now it does everything just a little bit different here. So here you have like the keys to go into the menu. Uh, and here it's like a small little joystick, which is kind of weird, but it actually works pretty good. So you can go into the menu and then use the stick to go down and I click on it to select something. So let's get the perfect settings here for this studio setup. Shooting settings, I'll set the ISO to 100. And then the aperture is set to the lowest F2 right here on this lens. So that resembles my um, Panasonic Lumix G7 settings just a little bit here. And you can't actually use the HDMI output in conjunction with the USB output. So this makes it a bit hard to charge it while you're recording. So that's a bit of a minus here. And I don't know why they did that exactly. Um, so I don't really like that. And recording here directly on your laptop is also a bit difficult because you can record the signal through the HDMI out to like an HDMI recorder, which is pretty cool. So, don't, so you don't need to use any space here, but just when outputting the signal, which is what I'm doing here with the HDMI out on my Lumix G7, then you get all of the uh, display information. Um, you can turn them off while recording to an HDMI out recorder, but if you just want the signal, then you're not able to do that. So this is a great vlogging camera for like taking with you or recording directly to an SD card or recording to an HDMI recorder, uh, but directly in your laptop, that's a bit hard. Also, I find the screen is, is quite strange. So this flips out with uh, hinges on both sides, as you can see. So it flips out, so you can look at that from the top, which is pretty cool, um, but it doesn't flip to the side. So you can't look at it while vlogging, while the screen for uh, most other cameras, like this one here, that can flip out and then turn around. So you can also look at that while uh, looking at the camera for like vlogging. Um, what with this, uh, camera that's a little bit difficult to do. Uh, aside from that, it's a really great quality and a really cool camera for a vlogging in studio. Now you can also use this outside, of course, for vlogging. You can change the settings a little bit and even exchange the lens so you can get more of a wide shot. And that is really where the power of this thing comes in. So while I love the quality of this camera, I would not recommend it specifically for vlogging if you're using while recording directly on your laptop like I do. Um, but it is great just using the SD card or like a, a HDMI recorder out. So I really recommend, but I do recommend the G7 from Lumix if you're like recording on your computer and want an easy way to connect your HDMI port right into there.